So in today's video, we are going to automate the LinkedIn journey over here. In the previous video, we saw that how we can do all this journey using the API and we executed it all the API in our Postman. But in today's video, we are going to write the Python code from the scratch and understand how we can develop our own API, our own Python code to automate the posting journey. So if you want to post on your feed part, if you want to post on your group, you can just a single press of button, you can click it and it will get posted in your LinkedIn. The thing that you're using over here is the only developer API, okay, which is provided by the LinkedIn. So it is official. We are not using any paid software or anything to post the content and everything. So for to, uh, to understand this video, you would need to see the previous video, which I posted. I will be uh, giving the video in my I button. Please go and watch the video because that video will be the base part for this video. That video will guide you and how you can develop your own access key and everything using which you can get your um, access key, which is very important part as you can see over here. Okay. So to get that key, how to get that key, how to use the API, what are kind of the API at, that I have told everything on my previous video. Please go and there was that video. Okay, so in today's video, what we'll be doing, I'll be showing over here. So if I uh, run this code, so as you can see that I am, I have my ID over here. And as you can see, there's a two response, 201, 201 means it has been successfully posted. So I'll be showing you where it got posted. This is my um, taxonomy page over here. This is my page over here. Okay, so uh, if I refresh it, so as you can see over here that uh, it got posted just now. Okay, it got posted by me right now. This is the uh, video, this is the title and everything just got posted, posted by me. And if I go in my feed part also, this is my group video. If I go my feed part, as you can see, this is the uh, post that has been posted right now. This is what we are, go we are going to uh, make in this video. We are going to automate the journey of posting and everything using the Python code. So now I'll walk you through the code, like what is the, what does the code do and how does it work over here? Okay. The most and foremost, the main important part of this journey is to get the access token. So if you not watch the video, please go and watch the video. So in that video, I have shown that how you can get your own access token. So now over here, I have um, made the class of LinkedIn automate. Okay. In this class, we are passing the four things. One is access token. One is YouTube URL, which you want to share. One title of what, what title you want to write and one description, what kind of a description you want. As you can see in my video, this is a title over here. This is the description over here that I'm posting. This is the video that has been generated. Okay. So these are the four things that I'm passing over here. So first and main foremost thing that runs in the class is the constructor. This is our constructor over here. We're getting the four things and we are initializing it. Okay. And we are also initializing the Python group list. So in the whichever group, in which all group you want to post this um, content. So for now, I have just uh, written the only one list over here. So each and every group has the unique ID okay, associated with it. So it, this is my group taxonomy over here. So this is the ID of this. So LinkedIn has provided each and every group with a unique ID. So you need to copy this unique ID and paste it over in, in this list. So this is the list. So it can have multiple IDs over here using which you can post. Uh, you can in a single click of a button, you can post in the multiple groups. Okay. And we are generating the header. Header is a normal header authorization header, which has a bearer and the access token that we, are, that we are going to provide. This is the most important function over here. So I'll walk you through what, what function we have. This is the common API call part, which has the uh, API call, what kind of a payload we are going to pass. It is written over here. Okay. And there is the extract thumbnail. So that the YouTube video which you are passing. So uh, for LinkedIn, they need a kind of a thumbnail URL. So we are not uh, writing the thumbnail manually over here. If you want to write thumbnail, you can write the thumbnail image manually also, but I'm extracting the image of the thumbnail from of YouTube video, like or using the code. Okay, I'll walk you through the code. This function is important because this function will help us to get the user ID. Okay, then this is there is a feed post and there is a group post. So there are two kind of function. One, if one to post in your feed, one to post in the group. Okay, and there is a main function which controls all the function over here. So I'll walk you through the code. First and foremost, the which function we use is get user ID. Using this function, we'll get the main user ID. So when I run the code, as you can see, this is a, this is my user ID. Okay, then it goes and goes and hit the feed post function. So if I go into feed post function, it is a URL. What kind of a URL we need to hit, like LinkedIn URL, and it calls the common API call part. So by default, common API call part is set to the feed uh, feed function uh, feed attribute and the group ID is none. So by default, it acts as a feed uh, post over here. This is the common payload which LinkedIn accept over here. Okay, uh, and over here, as you can see in the thumbnail part, the URL we are calling the extract thumbnail URL uh, function. This is the common function which extract the important part from the URL and make it a URL which is which has the thumbnail in a J, uh, JPG format. 
okay so i have gone through this uh, feed post also so using the feed post we'll get the payload and we'll hit the api over here okay and it, then it will be running the for loop for loop for each and every python group list so over here as you can see there is a it is a list there can be multiple ids over here so it will start uh, running through each and every id it will go in the uh, group post and over here we need to pass two part fit type as a group and what is what is the group id to passing so over here it will convert to fit type a is equal to group and the id will become to whatever kind of id we are passing over here so as you can see, there is only two changes between the feed and the group part over here. So in the feed, uh, in the group part, what we need to do in the visibility, what we are doing uh, by default, if it is a feed type, then it is public. For the group part, it is, it is container. And one more key we need to add is a container entity where which where we add the group ID over here. Okay, these are only two changes between the feed and group part over here. I hope it, you might be understanding this thing. Okay, then we will call the same API function, we will get the payload and, we'll, and then we will be hitting the API call. That's it. This is the normal thing that we'll be doing to automating our the uh, LinkedIn journey over here. I will be hosting this uh, code into the uh, GitHub so you can refer this code also. Uh, code, okay. I'll be pasting that link in the in my description in the YouTube video. Okay. So if you got, if you understood this uh, coding and everything, please subscribe to my channel. It help, it helps me motivate to make such videos for you. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.